Alex, welcome to Metro Gallery for your exhibition, Hostage. Uh, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about how this exhibition all came together. I guess the best way to start off is you tell us about how you were inspired to create this exhibition. This body of work uh, was inspired by a series uh, by Jean Foutre, um, which I saw um, a piece of his at the Tate Modern uh, approximately six months ago. At the time, uh, I was trying to give up smoking and I just felt that the pieces of gum, which I was discarding every day, had a relationship with his work. And you mentioned to me the other day before having a, having a beard, there's also a connection to Michelangelo in your works. Can you uh, tell us about that? For me, uh, I wanted this series to embody a 21st century icon in the way that when you look at classical sculpture, you get a sense of the society in which they lived. And these forms or heads, for me, represent the neurosis within our own society. What um, I find really interesting is you say that these sculptures were made through a laser process, and um, obviously they're bomb sculptures, but can you tell us about how they actually came from being tiny pieces of chewing gum in the studio to the end result of the sculptures we see here? The small bits of gum, I was probably chewing around 50 to 100 pieces a day. Um, and from these I selected 12, which I found interesting. These were then uh, scanned in using a CT scanner and then 3D printed. And from those 3D prints, uh, wax casts were taken off and then made into bronzes. But the sculptures here are exactly the same as they are, just enlarged 24 times larger. Now I'm convinced when I walk around and look at this show that you do it, they created creatures and uh, animals and, and different figures in the works, but these are 100% just adding out uh, chewed pieces. They're just, they're just chewed pieces of gum which have been spat out. And I'm also very interested in this notion of uh, kind of contemporary surrealism where you get a slip between something which is both physical and also psychological. And I would like the viewer to project or take away their own imagination. And what do you see in these sculptures? Do you see something new every day when you walk past them that they've been bronzed? I do, yeah. As, as I walk around them, they change and they shift depending on my mood, depending on the day's mood. They seem to alter... Um, they seem to alter and, and shift personality. Now you started off when we had our first exhibition here in 2009, large-scale, mass, latex sculptures made of aluminium and all sorts of other materials, and now you move to smaller bronze works. Where do you see work going from here? I'd like to still produce works out of traditional materials, and at the moment I'm working on a project using similar techniques of enlargement, but producing them out of marble. And uh, are these, have you got plans to show these internationally in other galleries? I hope so, yeah. And um, maybe just tell us about some of the collections you've been in, uh, why, over the last few years? Um, the collections I've been in, uh, which have been shown in Australia at the moment, uh, are the Queensland Art Museum and also the Saatchi Gallery exhibition in, uh, in Adelaide and Victoria. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for coming and uh, good luck with the show. Thank you.